This video is a quick introduction to Dijkstra's algorithm, an algorithm used for computing all the shortest paths from a given starting node in a fully connected graph. We require relative distance information between all the nodes, and we also know that the distances should not be negative. How does the algorithm work? We start with ready set, where we add the, the start node into it. In the loop, we now select the node with the shortest distance in every step. We compute the distances to all of its neighbors and store path predecessors. We add current nodes to the ready set. And the loop finishes when all the nodes are included in the ready set and uh, none is left to explore. We then co reconstruct the shortest path by selecting the destination and working backwards towards the starting point. Let's see how we accomplish that. In the beginning, we only know that start node S is reachable with distance zero. The distance to all the other nodes are infinite and we do not have any path predecessors recorded yet. Zero infinite values and we also do not have any path predecessors recorded yet. We now select the node with the shortest distance from all the nodes not yet included in the ready set. Clearly S has the shortest distance of zero while all the other nodes still have infinite distance values. We add S to the ready set and update all the distance and path predecessors for its neighbors. S is in the ready set. Since S is neighbors to node A and C and D, the distance for these nodes are updated and their predecessors set to S. So the distance from node S to node C is 5, the distance from S to A is 10, and the distance from S to D is 9. We also update the table, distance is 5, and our predecessor is S. For node A, the distance is 10, and the predecessor is S. And for node D, the distance is 9, and the predecessor is also S. We will continue with this loop until all the nodes are included in the ready set. So once again, we now select the node with the shortest distance from the nodes that are not already in the ready set. S is already in the ready set, so S is taken out. And we now go and look at the nodes with the shortest distance. We see that C has a distance of 5, and we now update neighboring nodes with new distances and predecessor values, starting at node C. So node C has a neighboring node of A, taking C's distance value of 5, adding 3 to it, we see that 8 is less than 10, and we can now update the new distance value to A with 8. A's new value in the table also changes to 8, and A's predecessor changes to C. C also has a neighboring node in B, the distance from C to B is the distance of C at this stage, which is 5, plus 9, and that gives us a value, distance value of 14. So the value of B is updated to 14, and B's predecessor is also changed to C. The last node connected to C is node D. Um, we take the value of C, the distance value of C, which is 5 at this stage, we add the distance of 2 to it and we get a new value a new distance value of 7 and we update the distance value for D in the distance table 7 and its predecessor is C. Since we are now finished with node C node C is added to our ready set. The loop continues and we select from these nodes that are not included in the ready set the node with the shortest distance. Looking at these three nodes left we see that D is the one with the shortest distance and we start at location D and see if we can come up with shorter paths to its neighboring nodes. D is connected to three nodes, so D is connected to node S, but S is already in the ready set, so that path is ignored. C is also already in the ready set, so that path is ignored. The only node not yet in the ready set is node B. D has a distance of seven, add it 6 or adding 6 to it gives us a distance of 13 which is less than 14 so we can update the value for B with a new distance value of 13. 
remember to update the value in the table as well also update the predecessor to D since there's no other nodes connected to D we are done with node D and node D is added into the ready set there's only two nodes that are left and we once again look at the node with the smallest distance and that would be node A starting at node A we now have a look and see the neighboring nodes connected to A we see that S is connected but that is already in the ready set we also see that C is connected that's in the ready set the only one that is not in the ready set is node B taking the distance value of A adding 1 to it we get a value of 9 which is less than 13 so we update the value of B to 9 and we also update the value in this table to 9 and we change the predecessor of B to A we don't find any other nodes connected to A so that means that A is done and we put it in the ready set the only one left is B and we can go and add B into our ready set in order to find the shortest path from S to any node we simply start at the destination node and follow all the predecessors back to the start node for example if we want to find the shortest path to node A we will follow the predecessors for node A back to until we get to S so A's predecessor is C and C's predecessor is S so the shortest path going from S to A would be A or going back would be A, C and S that's the shortest path we want to find out what's the shortest path to B so we can write down B B's predecessor is A A's predecessor is C and C's predecessor is S so the shortest path going from S to B is going starting at S going to node C going to node A and then ending up at node B